Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing as we are spat tube wise into Ooh, well there it is, into Mandelbrot, and this was made by the very talented Hugo B designer and recommended by Clunky One, so a big thank you to the both of them. Uh immediately, this looks absolutely fucking beautiful. Yeah, that's that's some gorgeous deep vast lighting out there. Deep vast lighting makes perfect sense if you think about it. Don't question it too much. Um I like this signage too. Is that actually Wait. You're a camera. Did that that's changing, right? Did that actually follow me just then? It's giving us a glimpse of what else is in the chamber before we go looking around. I say chamber, giant vast space, but chamber will do. Uh you could yeah, there. I should be in that, right? Am I? Am I in there? I'm getting pushed out the way by the tube. Uh, anyway, this is a wonderful piece of a unique signage, and it shows us that there is tubes that will deliver cubes, some laser refraction, some laser reception, and the use of light bridges, and yeah, I'm loving the look of this already. Hugo B Designer is very, very talented. I I love... I love that that's changing colour. Because, I mean, that is an almost certain drop to one's death, right? So, red is dead, we all know that. Lovely, calm, blue, everyone's happy. Red is dead. Lovely, calm, blue, everything's good up here. Certain death. I don't know if that's intentional, but I love the fact that changes when you look down into the vast abyss of one's death. Um, I also love that. Okay. Maybe we're not in Aperture, we're in uh, the galaxy itself. I don't know. That that's, looks gorgeous, though. This whole map clearly looks gorgeous. Uh, the puzzle will probably be very, very difficult for me, too. There is a button over here that will give us a cube that connects to a cube spitter up there. And yes, I have noticed the lovely piece of rope lighting going across that gap. That's fantastic detail. I really like that. Our exit is over there. There's a laser relay. There's a laser in there as well. Uh, what can we actually get to? Light bridge here. We've got a light bridge there. We could go light bridging over there. Go see what's going on over this side of the room. Uh, we got a laser receptor there, which is connected to that fizzler by the looks of it. Uh, around here we have got another cube spitter up there. And yes, I'm going to be calling them cube spitters now. Love that as well. Yes, that really makes one question one's place in the galaxy. Easily one of the most pretentious things I've ever said. Love it. This map has got beautiful details and lighting. Is this that? extra special new form of lighting people are starting to use. Feels different. Kind of atmospheric and beautiful and haunting at the same time. Yeah, um, puzzle, right? There's a puzzle in here to get this door open. That's usually how these work. Uh, what else can we do? I've just noticed that it's the upside down light bridge format. That's probably quite significant. In fact, if it was over there, that's how we can get in there. If I can still get back. Yeah, we can probably still get back. Uh, we've got a relay here which connects to this tube spitter, which I now know this signage means nothing to do with Captain Planet. In fact, means in facts, in fact, that's the word, means that cube will not respawn. So, yeah, that might be tricky. Uh, there's also that one, and if one of them doesn't respawn, and in fact, just notice that one is recyclable, that means that there will be cube management to work with. Like all these cubes rushing around off to their various duties all over the place. Um, there isn't a great deal else over this side other than that, but we clearly need stuff in there. So let's get back there with you. And since that is upside down, we can actually just go this way, right? And then if I was to put you... I don't have to line up, but let's line up, put you there. There is a place to land here before we die. There's a button up there that we saw before going to that spitter. But we need to get over there, which looks like... I'd say that panel in there looks like it lines up. Uh, in here is that laser that we're going to have to work with. I like this sort of entrance and That looks different too, right? Does it burn? No, of course it doesn't burn. I was an idiot. I didn't notice and mention that it did point out that laser collision is off. Yeah, that this lighting in this map is definitely different, right? I never remember that being quite so dramatic. Looks great. That really does look great. It doesn't burn. Uh, we've got a laser in here. We need you. Well, immediately you line up with that. Right? What does that do? First of all, it illuminates that lovely bit of rope light. Uh, it also does half of our door over there. 
The other half is that relay that's also connected to that tube spitter. Uh, what else have we got going on? Um, that appears to have turned off this fizzler. Let's just double check that was this. That was in fact that, so yeah, we can do you again. Uh, that turns off this fizzler, that means we could grab you up there. Put a laser that way, does that go to anything? Doesn't appear to be anything over there, but we can stick a laser out there and get a light bridge at the same time. That's probably quite significant since you can get both, right? I don't know, we haven't got that far into the puzzle yet. Let's put you back there. Nope, that is wrong. Let's put uh, that and that back there so we get... Not that one. We get it back onto that one and we get this fizzler out the way. Then if I put you up there and I put you there, does that give me... That looks like it gives me a lovely lined up, very perfectly lined up, in fact, light bridge to get over to this button. Uh, this button, what's that? Watch your step. That's not a bad fall. You could easily make that fall with a long fall boot. It's that one that's going to fuck you up. Uh, this button. This button connects to that cube spitter there, which immediately gets rid of that cube. I, I needed that. Are you going to give me another one? Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait here for a new one, right? And give me that. You also look a bit different. And you are coloured, right? You, that means there is definitely cube management to deal with. You look slightly different. You've got the uh, aiming indicator thing, which also looks different. Everything in this map is unique. Love it. Okay, uh, don't do that. Oh, detailed death. Uh, ah, okay, you checkpointed me here. Very kind of you. Nice that you put checkpoints in a map where people probably shouldn't be dying that easily, at least. I got distracted by the nice fancy cube, okay? I'm pretty sure that's a unique looking cube somehow. Uh, give me a new one of those unique cubes and we won't get too distracted this time. We will grab it and immediately retreat to the safety of anywhere but the light bridge. Alright, another one please. Another one. Thank you. Right, let's get back over here where it's safe before we start fucking round. Um, right, I've got a cube. Also got to point out, I love the fact that down there was actually detailed for once. I've fallen into many long drop death abysses in this game, and very rarely is there something to actually impact upon down the bottom. So, uh, yeah, Hugo, I, I really I really like that. Um, how powerful is this? Pretty powerful. Does that mean, like, I can't leave it anywhere here? What about me? Take me? Okay, you can't quite force me, but you can launch the cube. Probably don't want to launch the cube. Let's leave that there. Uh, right, what are we doing now, then? We're trying to get that door open, so obviously we need that. And we need that relay as well. Uh, I'm going to go back over to that side. Can I get in there before I die? I can probably get in there before I die, right? If we make it into here, yeah, with this lovely bit of sloped floor. Again, that's all unique, isn't it? Loads of unique texture work in here. Love it when creators go to that kind of detail. And yeah, th this dramatic lighting is absolutely beautiful and kind of ever so slightly dramatically foggy. Really do like that. Um, puzzle then. What's the actual puzzle need? We need you over there. I'm going to go ahead and do you and you again. Which at least gets half of that. So we need to at least get that cube. That's a good place to sort of start. So let's get... Uh, Oh wait, that is nowhere near that bit of platform there, is it? No. There is a panel over there that we used before, though. So if I go over there now, hold on. I want the cube in there, right? How can I get that cube in there? Not in there, get that cube out there. Um, let's just go over there for the moment. We can probably see it from here. We can, which means we can go back and forth here as long as that fizzler is out the way. Let's put the orange on you. Hold on a sec. Got to check every gap in these kind of maps just in case there's something hidden. You never know. Just more vast apertureness. Right, uh, this side. I want that cube that I've left over there. So to get that cube over here, I could do you. I could do you. Uh, yeah, that'll work because we can then go grab you and carry you on over here. So, let's see about getting that laser out here now. 
Are these those tram line kind of things? There is a slight difference in the tiling there. Yeah, either the ceramics guy just wanted to amuse himself, or that is in fact things to line up with. Hey, ooh, that's new. Oh, I love that feature. That is so fucking useful. That actually, does it do it on everything? It does, that actually lights up what you are going to hit. That would save me a lot of hassle in a lot of maps. Um, I want a laser coming out of you now. To get a laser coming out of you, I need to be back over there. To be back over there, we need to go back over there and do the light bridge thing again. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go back over that side and swap our light bridges around again. I like this uh, use of the top of a portal light bridge. You don't see that a great deal. It's kind of unique and makes it just a little bit more... I don't know, versatile maybe? Because you can still use the portal, but it's now got like two purposes, so to speak. Uh, right, uh, let's get orange on you and go back over there. Uh, how am I going to get a laser out of here? Let's do it from there. Let's go back into the side of the place with the laser. The side of the place is a terrible way to describe that. Uh, we know that we can do you and we can do you to get that open. Well, not open, but that lit up and we get you and that gets rid of this fizzler. So actually, could I put the blue over there? Put the blue over there? Has done that and that has spat a cube for us. So there is a cube out there now, uh, so we probably want to get out there now. Wait. That's practically doing exactly what I need it to. I mean, the chances of me making that happen accidentally are like, just never gonna happen. But that is practically aiming exactly where I'm guessing we need to try and work on. Okay, uh, let's try and work with that then. But I can't get out of here now and keep the laser. So, go line stuff up. Let's go line stuff up over there. Since we've got this second cube. Now, if you get lasered again, you're going to get rid of this cube, right? If you get lasered again, yeah, that's what that should mean. Uh, so if I actually stuck you here and pointed you there like you were so kindly trying to do, I do really like how that lines up and lights up the actual target you're hitting. That is really useful. I'd like to see that a lot more, but it may well be a Hugo B designer speciality. These definitely look different, right? A bit more clean and futuristic-y, maybe. Uh, what do we do now then? So if I got a laser out of here again, that would do everything? No, because we actually need the relay, don't we? We do actually need this relay to get the second half of the door. So you'd actually have to be back here to do your thing. Yeah, I like how that lights up. Uh, you'd actually have to be here to do that. But then, as soon as you get lasered, we're going to lose that red cube. So that must be where the cube management comes in. Uh, Alright, so laser out here now. So we need to get back in there. I can get back in there with the blue that I've already got there. We'll just go do that again, but that's just going to delete that cube, right? If I now just went and put, uh, what's over there, blue? We put orange there. That's just going to re-spit a cube, right? And this one's not going to do anything nearly as impressive. In fact, it landed miles away. Okay, not that. Uh, let's go sort that out again. If I go grab you and line you back up. So I don't want you to hit that again. Just yet. I want you to go do over there. I think. What do I want you to do there to do over there? But we definitely need you to do the other half of the exit. I'm going to swap these around because I'm guessing cube management is a thing right now. They are coloured differently, which always means one of you has to die. Probably... The one we can get back easier? Who's easier at this point? You're both as awkward as each other, but at least you... Not you, actually. At least you will just keep dropping if I don't get to you in time. Uh, what was I doing? I was swapping these around. Let's put you over there, then. To do that. Let's get you over here to swing the laser back around this way. Do you light up other cubes? Nah, you don't light up other cubes. Okay. Put you uh, there. I know that's good. 
and then realize that I don't know where to go from there. Um, we definitely need the laser, so we should go get the laser. Good point. Actually, you could take a cube in there. There's no gaps at all over here, is there? That is all purposely blocked off to make that impossible. Yeah, that is part of the puzzle, clearly. Um, gigantic foreboding hooks. Uh, what else can we actually do? I'll get the laser back out here, but I'm just going to have half a door then, right? And be trapped over this side of the world. And that doesn't actually, like, change anything, because I can just get that laser receptor from this side anyway. Right, uh, what can we do? Well, when you were doing the thing over there, I don't want to move that blue, though. Let's move the orange there again, which does get rid of this over here. With this fizzler out of the way, we can aim over there. So I should probably see about leaving a portal in here, although I just did that, so scratch that thought for the moment. Um, so it'd be, it'd be gonna be Gotta be, gotta be, we gotta... We, what I gotta do? I've gotta hit that relay and have that triggered at the same time. So it's gotta be behind the relay, right? The laser reflector has to be behind the relay, but hitting the relay is just gonna respawn currently that cube. So should it be there now to do that and then I can go over there? Because I can't collect this one again without using portals. Okay, uh, let's try then. Well, you'd have to be... I'm going to put that there for the moment to have that. To keep that open. Let's put the orange over there. Let's me get back over there. Then I kind of want to have you, but you've got a mesh on you, so not that. And I'd have to leave it over there, so I'd actually have to have it open and be here. So let's do that so it was doing the beforehand thing again, which was, uh, now if we do you on there, gets rid of that and that, and I can get over there. Right? But I can't get over there, because you're doing that. Okay, uh, the fact that we can aim round here I think is a big deal and needs to be used. And the fact that we can have that illuminated from two places using the relay, no not, not the relay, using the reflector and using uh, this configuration in here. That's clearly important, right? That's, that's, a, that's another big deal. One that I also don't know how to make use of just yet, so uh, let's keep trying stuff. Um, there's a combination, and I I feel like it's close, but I don't know what to do with it. I'm also now wondering what the word Mandelbrot means. I'm pretty sure he was a character on Vikings, right? Wasn't he the guy who came to the village and knocked up Lagatha when Ragnar was off, you know, Viking? I may be misinterpreting that scene. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, so I could get back over there with having a portal placed, like, anywhere I wanted in here. Which lets me do to over there. So what if I had the laser come out of there to hit there? If I span you round there. Because I can aim out here, right? So let's have you pointed in there. Is it going to be swapping a laser at a later date, though? It might be swapping a laser at a later date. Let's uh, take you and put you into here. Oh, into here. No, into here, I said. Then if I hit you, like, there, I have that again. And then I want to be over there with this open and get a new cube, which would mean I technically want that one, which means you're the wrong cube for in here right now. So I didn't need to swap those. Let's have you do uh, this job. If you get out of the way a sec. Let's have you do this job in there. Uh, take you into that room. Get you to do into there, which does into there, which does into there. So now I could go over there, swap the laser around, right? Uh, let's do that then with... Hold on. Orange needs to stay where it is. Blue could now go over... 
there. Yeah. Now, if I point you into there, you get rid of that cube. And you give me all the things that I want. Oh, what a lovely little puzzle design. Because now I can just, like, uh, not touch that again, although it's still illuminated, so don't worry about it. Grab you. Point you over into there. Point you into there. Right. Now... The door is open with... Yeah, again, look at that lighting. Fantastic use of the lighting in this map. That was... Uh, I don't know if that's the actual end. Is that the actual end of this map? It's a very inviting tube. I also like the way that kind of lines up there with the change in green. The change in green, the change in lighting tone. Uh, this is green, which means I should get into it. Is there more? So we take a tube ride off into the vastness of... I want to say aperture. Oh no, that is actually the end. Alright, that was Mandelbrot, and that was a beautiful map with a lovely puzzle made by the very talented Hugo B. Designer. So a big thank you to Hugo B. Designer for that one. If you would like to recommend a map for me to play, then please do so via the usual means, which you should probably all know by now. And now, as promised, at the end of every episode of Perpetual Testing, Hardcore Pornography.